this show today are obsessed with eating things that you could not pay most people to try. Now, Kirsten says that she cannot stop eating chalk, she eats dirt, baby powder, and she's even tried Comet when she was six months pregnant. Um, now we're getting to Daria, and Daria says that she eats her own scabs. That's right. Okay, so people don't normally get scabs in their head, and you mm -hmm. say that you eat the scabs in your head. Mm -hmm. so I scratch them out. You so, did you originally just have one that happened from an accident and then you continue to have um, it there, or? No, I don't remember how they started. I just remember always scratching my head and that would make more and I would uh -huh. pick those out. And um, I don't remember them ever healing. They don't heal because you continue mm -hmm. to scratch them. Yeah. yeah. Your mom always says, if you have a scab, right, don't touch the scab because you want it to heal. Don't touch the scab. Yeah. Do you notice when you pick them? Is it um, when you're stressed or? Yeah, it's, it's my outlet for when I'm stressed or having a rough time. Uh -huh. uh, it brings me comfort and relief. So. so tell me about being a vegetarian but eating your own flesh. That yeah, I don't I, understand. It didn't even click with me that I was actually eating my flesh. And uh, I guess I was cheating on my vegetarianism for mm -hmm. four years. And you've, I heard that you say that it's wasteful if you throw the scab away? Yeah, I mean, I would pick them out and I'd store them in my nail for later because... Wait, you store wait. them in your nail? Yeah. <laughs> for later. Because it was a waste to throw them away. It's a waste to, like, mm -hmm. you know how we girls were just waiting somewhere on the bus stop or at work or whatever, and you're like, and yes, I used to be on the bus stop, y'all, so don't be like... <laughs> <laughs> I used to ride the bus every single day to school. Um, and you're picking your nails, and, like, so you don't pick your nails because the scab is there for a later mm -hmm. meal or a later... Yeah. What do they taste like? Uh, they taste kind of chewy and salty. Salty? Yeah. Kind of irony, too. And kind of like irony. Blood. Okay. And so... You, do you pick your scalp because it's easier to hide? Because you can have this and your whole scalp could be full of scabs mm -hmm. and people wouldn't know. Yeah, that's exactly why I pick my scalp. So no one sees it. And does your scalp bleed a lot? Do you have um, bloody scalp? I have, I have a few that uh, bleed and the blood actually uh, sticks, to the, sticks to my hair and it turns kind of powdery. So, and sometimes I'd pick that out too. Tell me about you saying that you put time aside in your day to pick the scabs. Like, I put mm -hmm. time aside in my day to check my email, right? Mm -hmm. So you, pick, you put time aside in your day to pick the scabs? Like, you set, like, appointments yeah. with yourself? Uh, no, not like that exactly. I mean, I'd be sitting and reading, and just my hands would just go to my head, and um, it would, I'd sit there for maybe 20 minutes to do this, okay. but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like... Mark it on my calendar. Oh, okay. Scab picking. Okay. Time. All right. Uh, does anybody know about this in your life? Um, I've never told this to anybody. A uh, few people have caught me. Maybe saw me. Um, no, I. Mm -hmm. It's really embarrassing. It, See, the picking of the scabs is normal. I think a lot of us like pick our scabs. You're not supposed to, right? But we do. Like, and then it doesn't heal as much, especially if you have darker skin. It'll like kind of hyperpigment, which means it'll turn that spot a little darker uh -huh. from picking the scab. But what I haven't heard of is eating the scab. Okay, you have a friend here. Her name is Erica. Hi, hi Erica. Stand on up. So you, um, the first time you saw her picking her scabs and eating it, what did you think? Um, I thought maybe it was just a fluke, like a one-time uh -huh. thing, but then I saw her do it again and put something in her mouth and I confronted her about it. She told me about it. And she told you about it. And what did you think as her friend? What did you worry about? Um, honestly, I was just immediately kind of concerned about it. I, it seemed kind of like um, self-destructive. So, yeah. yeah, I'm a little concerned about it. Do honestly. you think that there's maybe she's hurting inside and this is a form of like... Yeah. Yeah, it could. Yeah. I think that's a possibility. Does anybody have any questions for, for Daria about the scabs? <laughs> My name is Cache. Cache, I like that name. What's your question? My question is, do your parents know about what you eat? Um, about how I eat scabs or just my diet? Um, my mom's caught me once and she just joked about it, like that's what monkeys do. Your mom said that's yeah. what monkeys do? Yeah. Because oh, how they pick on each other. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, no. What about dating? When you're dating, do you tell the person that you're dating? Do they, do they see that you do this or do you keep it from the um, people that you date? I keep it from the people that I date. Yeah? Yeah. Are you dating somebody now? No. Okay. All right, we'll be right back. 